How did you hear that news? Did it affect you? Um... No, because the truth of the matter is it's not important to me. Okay, what's important to me is the guys in the room. And that's something that I've been trying to establish. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get beyond all this stuff that's on the outside that's noise as far as I'm concerned. What I'm focusing on is the development of this football team. There's a group of young men in there that deserve better, okay, in terms of they, they should be acknowledged for what they've done, what they're doing. I don't want to get talking about something that I can't control anyways. I, I have no input. I have, I have nothing to do with that. What I want to do is everything in that room, and that's what I wish we could just stay focused on. And it's difficult. It's hard. But for whatever reason, we're going to stick to what's interesting, and that's playing football for our guys. Um, more fired up about you've given some more answers in the past about this, but you seem more fired up now. Is it just to think about the circumstances? The way no, what's important is these guys, okay? For the last couple of weeks, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak my mind for a second. For Honestly, uh, it, it's been hard. It really has. You lose four games in a row, and everybody wants to get you, you know, just get on you. And they've played their asses off. They have. They've played their asses off for everybody. They come out and they show up. They work hard, all right? They don't complain, okay? They hear all this stuff, and they got to deal with it. I get that, and I respect them for that because they're resilient. They come back. Everybody keeps wanting to say, I didn't want anything to do with Carson. Well, I'm the guy that pulled out the sheets of paper, that looked at the analytics, that watched the tape in the freaking when we were at Indianapolis, okay? And that's what pisses me off because the young man doesn't deserve to have that all the time. I'm sorry.